Hello and welcome to this tutorial, it's um, CSS lesson number three. Um, today what we're going to be doing is formatting um, boxes and uh, pushing text over a little bit. Um, well, let's just get on with it rather than talk about it, shall we? Um, okay, so what we've got here to start off with is H1 tag, CSS tutorial number three, and then this is going to be our, our box title because we're going to format um, the div that's around it. And then we've got some text with inside here. Uh, with inside a paragraph tag that we're going to format as well. We're going to give the box uh, background, some colour, border, everything. So let's um, get on with it, shall we? Okay, so here's our HTML page. I'll just zoom in this slightly. Um, yeah, we see we've got our H1 tag. We've got a div that's wrapping around all of this. And we've got a div here that's the title, and then we've got a paragraph as well with some text inside of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to format this div to be the box, and then we're going to give make this a title as I said and then we're going to format it as well so what we do first of all is give this div a class of um, box uh, wrapper and then give this one a class of box title and then we're not going to give this one the paragraph tag a class because we can talk direct to it with inside the box wrapper that's no problem. Okay, so um, and we're going to format the um, CSS tutorial number three H1 tag. Okay, so Control S save. Let's uh, come with inside the head style type equals text slash CSS, and we'll just pop this down here. And we're going to use internal style sheets um, just for time constraints. Um, okay, so first of all, we've got uh, box wrapper class and uh, let's make the box title uh, class and what we also need to do is talk to the um, box wrapper with the paragraph tag I like to get all my classes made first and then fill them out basically then it gives me a good understanding of um, what I need to do so just to clarify this we've got the box wrapper class here then we've got the box wrapper with the paragraph tag, which I'll explain in a minute. Then we've got the box title um, class here as well that we need to do. So, okay, well, what we need to do first of all is format the box wrapper. So we'll say uh, width equals 400 pixels, height equals 400 pixels, border equals 1 pixels, solid, and we'll make it uh, a black border, and we'll give it a, a background of uh, F1, 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 which is a dark grey um, and then we'll say font family equals Vandana so I want anything inside of this to have the font family Vandana and I'm not going to format the size because I want to give the size to the other elements here um, and we're also going to say text align center for all the text um, okay so that's the box wrapper first of all let's just control s to save just to show you this so far so we'll refresh it and as you can see it's a, a box with a border of um, one pixel and it's aligned all the text to center and it's turned the text to um, vendana so now let's format this title shall we to make it look a little bit nicer so the, for the title we've got um, we want the width of uh, 400, 400 pixels too, okay, and want the height of uh, 25 pixels. Now we want the colour of the font um, to be. I want it to be white, just to show you, so it stands out nicely. So white is FFF, um, which is the hexadecimal uh, coding for white, and we want the text to align uh, left. And yep, that's it. Let's and let's give it a, a border um, bottom of one pixel solid um, black as well. So let's control S to save and let's go back and have a look. There we go. Okay, so uh, the text is over to the left now. It's got uh, the border bottom of um, black and uh, yeah, the text is um, vendana. So let's now make the text. Uh, bold in the title and let's just push it over to the right a little bit so it's not flush against the side because it's doing look very good 
Okay, so what we can do with that is um, pretty simple. First of all, let's uh, continue formatting the, the text. So I said we'll make it uh, bold as well. And what we need to do is basically say padding. This is going to push it over um, to the right a little bit by having some padding with inside of it. So we're just going to say padding um, left and it's going to be uh, 10 pixels. Now, if we basically make the padding with inside of it, it's going to make our um, title bigger. So we have to minus 10 pixels off from the width. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so let's refresh it, and as you can see, it moves in 10. But what that does is it actually extends the box by 10 pixels. So that's why you have to minus it off. Margin you don't have to, but padding it extends the size of the box. Okay, well, as you can see now, I'll just zoom in slightly. Okay, so what we're talking about basically is we want to move this text down slightly because um, it's a little bit further to the top than it is to the bottom. And there's a way of doing that is by using line heights. So let's come back to here and within our box title class, we basically want to use, so we first of all say line height. Now, the easiest way to do this uh, that I find is by um, think about how, how tall it is, the height, which is 25. Now what you need to do is just minus a few pixels off of this and basically it seems to work out okay. So we'll just use 22 pixels. It's a tried um, and good method that I use. And there we go, it just goes down nicely um, to what seems to be uh, the centre. Okay, so let's just um, zoom out to this now. Now, I don't like that this text here is the same size as this. So let's just uh, knock it down uh, slightly. So we've got with inside the paragraph now, because we've got a paragraph, right, with inside the box wrapper. And as you can see, we've got a paragraph inside the box wrapper. We can talk direct to that. So let's say um, font size equals 12 pixels and font uh, weight equals bolt. So control S to save. Come back to here. And as you can see now, it basically um, formatted all of this text, okay, the way that we wanted it to be. All right, so it's pushed that into the middle. Now what we do is just bung a break in there just to make it look a little bit nicer. There we go, let's bung a break in there. And there we go. So that's um, pretty much uh, talking about using the width and height uh, within CSS. Last thing what we do is we'll format the H1 tag up here, just so it's a little bit uh, nicer. Okay, so what we do is if we come to um, the top, because it's not within inside the body wrapper, so I like to keep my classes um, uh, basically in order of the page. So what we'll say is font size equals um, 16 pixels and font family equals vendana um, yeah I'll do I'll come back to this and now as you can see now it's basically formatted um, the same way okay now last one just to show you because we have time is let's give the the body uh, a background background color whoops background color of uh, e1 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 one come to here and as you can see now that formats um, the background okay that's pretty much it for um, tutorial uh, number three I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've got something out of it you can visit me at um, www.thornwebdesign.de where you can um, see all of the tutorials that we've got currently um, running and then there's a few uh, tips and tricks about um, good things to use, bad things to use and so on. Uh, well that's it for um, this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it, enjoyed it and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you and goodbye.